Hello everyone, just a warning before we dive into this game. This game uh, features lots of adult themes, such as drugs and death and swearing and all that sort of bad things. So if you're not supposed to watch that, don't watch this video. Otherwise, please enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome back to Backbone. Um, when we left off, we just got back into the bite for the second time, but this time through the rooftop. And we have come across a groovy sort of beat. A sneaking sort of beat. Whoa. So when I crouch, the edges go fuzzy. That's a weird detail. There's so much little details in this game. I'm loving it more and more. A dressing room. Thanks, Shepard, it's empty. Okay, no turning back now. Inspect mirror table. Okay, what do, what do we got here? Happy birthday, Rose. Hope they gave you a, bo a day off. Oh, so this must be Rose's desk. Margaret Moore is everywhere right now. Fierce lady. Not really my type, though. I see wrapped gift. Mine usually come in recycled newspaper. Nothing pops in the mouth like Pops candy. Alright, that seems to be... Pretty much everything that's there. Oh, mirrors. Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this. You can do this, Howard. You're doing this. Let's do this. All right, let's move on. Some honey for your tea. Mum swears by it. Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. Open the door. Move on. What have we got? Press control to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects, okay? Just gotta keep my profile low, take a peek into one of those rooms. Jez must be there. So I'm assuming by the... yep, there he is. I was about to say, because they gave me that little tip of staying hidden and they can't see or hear me while I'm crouched, um, that I should be crouched because... Um, there's enemies nearby. <laughs> I wonder which one of these rooms Rose is in. Now now I'm after two two um guys. Oop, that's a private room. Is that it? Is there anything else? No. Oop. Oh, hello, rat. You can't see me here. Right, I guess we're going into this room, the only room we can go into. Damn. Did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help her debt. What's in here? What have we got in here? A green hat! A green hat! Green must have been here. Now, where's the rest of him? Herbs? Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like butt. Appropriate name then, isn't it? Painting. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get there? What the? A secret lift? There's a lift? Okay, let's sneak in there. I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but... Can't afford to be picky. In we go. So, secret lifts behind a thing. What's this? That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? What are they burning in there? Why is, why is there a secret corridor behind a painting that leads, leads to a furnace? And then to a freezer room. Looks like guests of the bite are eating well. Corkboard. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grubby little fingers. Took honey. Alright. That's an intercom. Probably don't want to read the intercom door. I open vent. I could fit to it if I... Okay. Crouch then. If you can fit through it, if you crouch, just crouch. Get it to get through there. Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guy with the big knives. Smells delicious though. Okay. I'm, behind, I'm safe behind here. Oh, okay. Sabotage the mixer to distract them so I can get through. Sab sabotage this mixer. So can I move him? No. What do I do now? Nothing. 
I'm stuck now. Oh, you failed. Don't get caught next time. Oh, well, I, there wasn't really much choice, was there? <laughs> I, I, I activated the mixer to distract the guy and he didn't move. Was that a glitch? Right, let's try again. Do the mixer. Sneak by. Do the mixer. Oh. We failed, don't get caught next time. Well, well now, fine. I'm using the intercom. Die in the kitchen. Yo, this is the kitchen, what you need? If it's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. You suck. Who is this? Don't you fucking move. I think somebody's coming. Ooh, better sneak away then. Oh, I see. So he goes to check while we distract that guy. Oh, I don't know what the second mix is for then. All I know is that we can get through now. Some kind of locker room. Better keep moving. Inspect the locker. What do we got? Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe you. <laughs> Funny. Here's my family favorite apes delight. That's a map of some kind. Star citizen. This cardboard with holes on it, a ticket. Hang on, that fits that. Oh, he's supposed. Hmm. No. So it must fit that one. All right. So we'll put that there. Maybe this is revealing some sort of code. Um, and this, that fits that pretty well. So we'll, we'll put that there. Uh, oh, unless that's supposed to fit that. No, it fits this one way better. So we'll chuck that away. What's this? There's holes in that one. What else is it supposed to do? This one? Yeah, that seems to fit that pretty good. There's a little... Oh yeah, that lines up there. Wow, cool. That lines up really, really well. What's this? So we've got square, circle, diamond, triangle. So we've got square, zero. Circle, four. Diamond, five. Triangle, one. So, zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Oop, wrong button. All right, there we guess that's a code. Note. Greg the turkey is missing again. It better be here when I get back. Who's this Greg fella? Code lock. Code lock. Uh, zero, four, five, one. Ha! Genius. I am a genius. I figured it out. I'm this clever boy. I am the true detective. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Where are the lights? That's a good question. What? Why aren't they right next to the door? That's my question. Um, oh, there's lights. Oh my f What? Oh. There's a dead body on the table. Yep. He's dead. It's a naked dead otter. Oh, a fucking jazz? The corpse offers you no help. Touch the corpse. You place a figure on the corpse. It's not yet cold. Try to ascertain cause of death. The body shows no obvious signs of violent death. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Maybe he had a... Maybe they overdosed him. The body lies there, still. It is there, dead. Probably murdered. Recently. Sniff the body. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne, held together by a stringent herbal sneak. Stink. That's enough. I'm going. New objective. Escape the bite. Somebody's coming, quick, I have to hide. Oh, oh, container. Let's get in the container. And hide there. Oh, it's one of the chefs. Why is he in here? What are, what are you up to, Mr. Cat Chef? 
Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Okay, coming. A cut? What do you mean he's working on a cut? Like, they're cutting up people? The turnkey, maybe I'll make it out alive. Sorry, Chess, even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Oh, they must be. Look at that. There's something hanging there that's a person. Are they cutting up people to sell it to the customers? That's disgusting. That's horrid. This game is getting creepier by the second. Also, great. Oh, we can't go through there. It doesn't let us. Oh. <laughs> boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> I'm just, if I move left and right quickly, it just goes, oh la la, da da la la, everybody dancing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I solved the case, solved the case, woman doesn't have to get a divorce anymore. No going to court, no expensive fees, and I get my payment, oh jeez, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Let's just use the lift. <laughs> Gosh. What are I doing? Um, I can escape, but I don't want to right now. I want to see... Oh, maybe I have to escape. I guess I escape. Let's get out of here. Well. I guess... I guess seeing a dead body unexpectedly would make people sick. Especially if they're finding out that they're just... Chopping them up for meat. It's not a pleasant thought, actually, so... I'm actually surprised he held his composure till he got outside. Um... My gosh. Crazy. Crazy start of the game. Now that... Achievement unlocked, Act 1. Act 2. Connection. That is where the demo ended. So from now on, are you, there were some differences between the demo and that playthrough just then. But from now on, this is completely new content that I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting into. So from now on, this journey is a journey we will be taking together. And we will be solving this mystery of why they're murdering people with, a dr with drugs and then chopping them up for, into pieces. My goodness. Fuck, fuck, fuck. They were butchering him. To dispose of the body? Or something worse than that? That's crazy. Is the bite, is the bite pe serving people's flesh? They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Oh no. No, don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. What am I going to do? This is so fact duty to do something. I should tell the police. What am I going to tell Odette? What am I going to tell Odette? How about the truth? The truth might be too harsh for her. The truth might be too harsh for her. Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there. Oh no, Howard. I'll just call her and wing it. Why? Tell her if she ran off with someone. Drag it out. Say that I'm still looking for him. I, I we just got to tell her. I just... Because she's, she's trying to find... Yeah, I just gotta tell her. Because I... Rip off the band-aid, nice and quick. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. I have a duty to do something. What can I do on my own? I have to stop anyone else from being butchered like that. This is my chance to do something meaningful. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. But it's safe, secure, less time around costs. I also don't want to die. I wish I had someone to talk to. No one would get it anyway. I'll have to wing it by myself, like always. This might be the most important case I've ever had, but it's worth the risk. My Jez, what did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I should tell the police. Is that really going to work? What would I even tell them? 
Hi, I broke into a private property and I'd like to report a butchering. They'd probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. The bastards hate unsolved murders. They bury the case in red tape. They just arrest me and earn a favour from Bloodworth for free. No thanks. Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I've no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. I'm a coward. Yeah, just... I, I can understand drinking your pain away this time. It's had a tough day, man. You've had a real tough... Smashing a bottle in a public garden, though. Frickin'... No matter how decomposed you are, you can't, can't be doing that. Go chuck the bottle in the bin or something. Oh, screw this. So we're in the burning park. New objective. Figure out what to do with my life. Alright. <laughs> Get drunk was the last objective, apparently. Burning park. Remember the Great Fire. Figure with their tail chopped off. Weird. Great Fire was before my parents' time. Burned up bridges. Whole districts destroyed in the war. Maybe we deserve to burn. What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. That is... So we got someone with the tail. We got... Hmm, okay. Maybe we'll figure out what they mean in due course. Bonfire. Guess I'll die here. Why would you die here, man? Looney. Who's Looney? You really necked that juice, friend -o. <laughs> Rough night. More than I thought possible. Wow. That bad, huh? You wouldn't understand. Then I don't need to, I guess. How can you be so chill when the world is so fucked? Always has been, eh? But welcome to the club, I guess. I don't want to be in your club. Whatever, chum. Good luck with the hangover. Eh. Can I ask you something? Sure. As long as you take it nice and easy. I've got a calm spot going on here. How did you end up here? Got injured at work. They let me go. So you just gave up? Giving up it is a choice. I didn't choose this. The only way to win is not to play, right? If only it was that simple. Work. Always more... What did you do? Before. Worked at the big print works down in Gastown. Sounds like you're better off out here. Uh, do you miss it? Listen, friendo. Society is a cheap trick. Better get out before it makes you a complete sucker. You have to be part of the system to change it. We're talking about change now. People like you and me don't change things. I will. Watch me. I'd love to be proven wrong. Bring me a drink when you do. We'll toast to your success. I'll hold you to that. Well, thanks for listening to a washed up guy's ramblings. If we ever end up onto the bridge together, we'll drink and cry the night away. You think that's likely? <laughs> Depends on you, bud. Stranger things have happened. My name. You seen those symbols on the block? Yeah, I've seen them. Those are streety symbols. Not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. You have a special language? Sure. It helps us look out for each other. Can you teach me some? Get yourself a tent, spend a few weeks on the streets, and maybe... What do the Plark ones mean? It's that it's not safe here, and you better watch yourself. Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult crap. Cult? The New Dawn Fellowship? Nah, wouldn't be them. I think someone less dangerous, but more religious. Almighty Shepherd deniers, perhaps? Can you blame them? One holy dude made, a, made all of us, and but loved apes the best? Stupid. I don't want to get into it, friendo. I got today to deal with. Yeah, and I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. I hear that. My name's Howard, by the way. Mine's Lutney. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Always nice to pass the time with a new face. I'm gonna go. Bye. Alright, well, that was some sort of talk. I don't think it really accomplished much, except to maybe clear our mind, clear our mind a bit of um, the craziness that's been happening somebody has been using this as a public toilet not sure if flipping a coin would help <laughs> oh yeah don't 
don't chuck coins in a wishing well if it's, it's been a public toilet. Lilac bush? Has that same herbal stink to it that... <laughs> no. Gosh, who are you? What, what are we up to? Got... Gopnik? Yeah, pussy boy. Let's have a little chat. Cut to the chase. Just want a friendly chit chat. Got any loons for your new friends? I only make detective money. You think we're scared of cops? I'm not a cop. I'm a private investigator. A poor one. You lying. Better be honest. Honesty takes you places, you heard. Yeah, like here. Maybe I'll quit being honest. Quit stolen, pussy boy. You think we're st um, stupid? I just want to walk, okay? You got someone to be, pussy boy? I just want to go home. To your mum? <laughs> she must be nice. We're coming with you then. Oh, well done. Just get it over with already. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now time for Pain City. Get. Oh, go on. Show me what big boys you are. Well, okay. Cool. We're just gonna get beaten up in the park for no particular reason apart from the fact that they just want some extra coin. Wow. Hang on a second. Isn't that the investigative journalist from the pub? From from the bite? Why is she here? Why is she looking after us after we just get beaten up? Okay, Howard Loader, we're safe here. You can relax. Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Let's talk. How does she know my name's Howard Loder? What about? Alright. Let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the bite, and more. So he's, I think she's taken us to her apartment, I'm guessing. Drugs? Specifically, monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She cleans the, She serves the clean variety at the bite, and the shittier version is turning up on the street. It's a stupid name. Think it's smart. Makes you giggle. You tell your friends, then they're curious. Boom! loosens up the tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. So you're gotten some kind of Bloodworth expert? You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. What's she like up close? Smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some power for regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with those kinds of folks. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. How did you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wondered what madness you were up to. Yeah, it was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I stalked it. I staked out the back alley just in case. Twenty minutes later, bingo! A puking raccoon. I got a sensitive stomach. Um, glad you enjoyed the show. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Glad you found me. Let's hope it was worth my while. Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy. A rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he looks like he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Let me guess. Everyone needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence. How they work, how you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. 
Sounds like you're in way over your head. Maybe. But I feel like I could really make a difference with this book. No one has really done this work before. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me. Like I trust you just now. What did you find at the bite? I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to sh share the burden with somebody? Yes, that'd be nice. Anyway, that'll have to do for now. Thank you all for watching. This episode's getting pretty long. I'll continue this conversation in the next episode. Why is Renee help helping us or pretending to help us? Who knows? Um, but we'll figure it out shortly, I guess. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.